actually still am a, a help desk agent for Autos right down the road. The easiest way to say it is 10 years ago I played a text-based game and I had to basically build a defense and offense system for it, which was all in the language of Lua, which nobody uses, so that's completely useless knowledge. I'm okay with that. And then uh, I worked at Hollywood Casino for a little while, and we had a developer there who made a bunch of programs that we used, and I got to watch him do it a bunch of times, and I was like, oh, that's really neat, and it never really became a major thing that I did. And then working as a help desk agent again, I decided that, that was not it for me. Like, I'm okay with fixing things. I like fixing things. Uh, working cars and things like that, but building programs, fixing bugs, and actually learning how to code things really piqued my interest just because it's way more hands-on compared to taking phone calls and running through simple fixes. Absolutely imposter syndrome. I, especially yesterday being the first day, like, am I smart enough to do this? Am I, like, able to retain the knowledge being older, 31, not really the time that people think they should go learn something, but here I am and kind of forcing myself into it. Um, big fear I have is this, I'm afraid that I am going to forget things left and right, whether it's, like, little commands that I'm supposed to do, which that's okay, or if I go to build something and I completely space out on part of the code, I'm totally terrified of that. And with it being the max class, being both languages, yeah, it's kind of terrifying because it's just a lot of information, but we'll see where it goes. I feel like it will probably give me an edge being able to say like hey look I know both I can work in both pretty easily that guy can only do one cool that's good on him but I'm able to do both so any program that we need to work in I could probably do it um, a couple of people were proud of me I'm proud of myself um, definitely and whenever they ask, like, so what are you going to school for? What are you doing the boot camp for? It's like, I'm learning how to code things. I'm learning how to step up and become that, you know, irreplaceable person for a company that can fix, build, create, and, you know, modify things as necessary. And it's a really neat feeling. And it kind of, it's edged over to, uh, in particular, my sister-in-law and then my cousin, Patrick, who I mentioned before. Um, they both are pretty proud of me and have said, like, hey, Nice job going on the first step. That is super weird. <laughs> um, I, I really don't have words for it. It's like we're two days in and being told like, hey, the things that you're learning right now are already pushing towards that capstone, towards you know what you're going to be showing employers. Like Knowing that that's a thing is really cool, but also super weird because I didn't expect that. job searches. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about that. But when it comes down to it with this education, it absolutely feels like it's going to be a lot easier because it sounds like there's going to be you know, career guidance. I guess, I, guidance is probably the best way to go. Absolutely. And basically it just seems like it's going to be fairly straightforward compared to where you're just normally on like LinkedIn or Indeed and just um, the things. Whereas here, you're going to have more of a connection with people that are already in the industry, and that gets more heads turned your direction than anything else.